morning welcome to our morning routine today's monday it is 7 8 a.m i usually do not set my alarm to get up <laughs> so this isn't exactly typical but today is such a busy day that in order for me to get my walk in i had to get up early and do it now so i set my alarm for seven no one else is awake yet and i'm about to go for a walk so first i'm just gonna say hi to the animals i just let the dogs out for a pee i was going to take lily because she's having some weight issues it's really muddy today so i think instead of driving to the park because she won't walk on the leash i'm just gonna do my exercise walk around here and then i'll do a little walk with lily later hey smiley didn't hunt any mice in the night did ya typically when i get up i usually empty like the bottles that were washed and put them in the sterilizer i like put the baby breast parts that were washed back in the formula maker but i already did that last night when we were up watching love is blind so none of that has to be done today i just have to empty the dishwasher but i'm gonna do all of that stuff when i get back because i'm usually still sleeping so i'm gonna still wait till typical time and just get out for my walk right away And good morning, Rosie. <gasps> it's mommy. Hi, Stinkies. It's mommy. <gasps> oh, okay. good morning. Good oh, morning, good Rosie. Uh oh. I'm back from my walk. How was it? It was refreshing. It's cold out, so it's very refreshing. But I did it. And that way it would be easier to just take the little doggies later. So I did my exercise a little bit. It's nice to have, have it done. Yeah, nice. I don't think I'll become like a morning exerciser, <laughs> but I could become a morning walker. Nice. Potentially. No promises. So. <laughs> I just finished Hello. nursing the boys. We're up for the day. We have babies that sleep in. They sleep anywhere from 7 to 8.30. They sleep in until. So today was like almost an 8 o'clock morning. So feeling good. Also, <laughs> George slept through the night last night. Yeah, what time till 5? 6. 6? Yeah. Whoa, 6. He did good. And then Fred sleeps through the night every single night. So good he job, just did Mr. his regular thing. <laughs> We finally have our fridge. Did I ever say? It has arrived. Cue everybody in the comment section saying that cats shouldn't drink oat milk because I'm sure that's true. But she's an addict. We don't have real dairy in this house. but. When we do, we let her have real cream too, which I know isn't good either. Cats are supposed to be lactose intolerant, but if you don't give Shelby her oat milk to start the day, she'll be a cranky, cranky cat and yell at you until you give her her oat milk. How you doing? Good morning to her. Oh, <laughs> double morning. The good girl. If I thought ahead and made my coffee at night, I would have a pot of coffee. Like drip you coffee? usually do. I usually do, but sometimes when I don't do that, I just have pods. So we get the Costco brand, and that is what I'm gonna make today. My newest coffee obsession. I only put a tiny bit in because I find these creamers super sweet. And also, this is limited edition, so I bought four because I had bought one and then I put Shelby! So then I went to another store and I got four. But it's really good if you put just a tiny bit and then oat milk. We are very different. We are if very different. I put creamer in my coffee, I put a lot. Well, it's because you don't like, like I, I enjoy like the coffee. taste of coffee with like just a touch of something. Most days I would only just put oat milk, but since I saw this, I got it. No but way. usually I wouldn't put sweet at all. I always And don't. you put literally half, she'll put like half the cup. Not half. This. Yes, half the cup. Yes, our dogs eat out of very 
expensive bowls for Dine a dog. Dine with Fable. It's the brand that we... Oops, tripped on a cat. It's the brand of dishware that we have. They're so beautiful. Yeah, why do our dogs eat it? Because they don't have dishes. They they have slow feeders and they won't eat it. They don't them, like so them. They eat out of bowls. So I put them there and then Lily gets diet food. And you might notice that our dogs don't come running for their breakfast because these two are so not food motivated. They do not care. <laughs> They're treat motivated, but they will just let their food sit here until like midday when they decide they're hungry, usually. She does indeed want Lily's food though. Breakfast served to the queen in bed. You know what's scary? Anyone can find any information online, including your full legal name, your email, your phone number, even your relatives. It is so scary to see all the information that's out there. This information is accessible because of data brokers. They sell your info to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone that wants to know your information. So scary. And that is where today's sponsor, Aura, comes in. Aura finds data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submits opt-out requests on your behalf. They can even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketer lists, which I personally love. Aura's app also features a VPN, a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, and internet parent controls. Basically, Aura has every internet safety tool you'll ever need inside one app. You can use our link, aura.com slash Allie and Sam to try two weeks for free and see how many data brokers are using your information. Or you could also click the link down in our description box or scan the QR code that we have right here on the screen. You'll probably be shocked at how much private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. And thanks again to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Usually once boys are playing down there, and Sam's having her coffee. We take turns coming up to get ready. I always make the bed. It's so funny. I never made the bed. I was not a person to make the bed. But since the boys have been born, for some reason, I have to make the bed every day. I think it just gives me like a sense of peace and order because the bedroom is then like clean and tidy. And I don't know. It was a new found hobby. It's not really a hobby. You know what I mean? It's just like. Yeah, I have no clue why I started making the bed at 30 years old, but here I am, making the bed. So, room is pretty much tidy, except for that laundry bin of things that has to go away later. Also, we did order a second crib. It didn't come yet, so that's why we have one <laughs> That's a crib right now. So the boys breastfeed whenever they wake up, but we still give them a bottle before they go down for their first nap to try to like increase their calories for the day. So I find they don't always eat these whole bottles, eh? Mm -hmm. But like we're just trying to up, up how much they eat in the day because they don't either like to take really huge amounts of milk in general. They like smaller bottles. So trying to up the calories because there's this whole theory that if they eat enough in the day then they won't need to eat in the night so up their calories and they'll sleep through the night yesterday it worked yesterday it worked <laughs> Look who's up for his first nap. So as soon as the twins wake up from their naps, we give them a bottle. They're still getting 50% formula, 50% breast milk. Turn that off. How was your nap, sweetie? 
Did you have a good sleep? I wish they could see your beautiful smile. Good morning, good morning. Oh, good morning. How was that nap? How was that nap? Look at how big he is. It is almost 10.30 and I haven't eaten yet and I have no clue what I want for breakfast, but I'm hungry. But what am I gonna eat? Berries. What did you eat? Allie had a pear and pizza crackers, she says. I might have some strawberries and some blueberries and then go from there. Maybe a protein drink. I'll show you what I've been having. They're in the basement in our like pantry area, but I thought I'd take a second to show you how the downstairs is looking because Allie cleaned it up and it's looking so good. So we pushed the couch back to be against this wall and then it's like a real play area now. And the universe was smiling down on me and said, Sam, I know how much you hate the treadmill because it takes up so much space. We're gonna kill it. The treadmill stopped working, so it was like meant to be. So now it's gone. But these are what I came down for. Some people swear by these Premier Protein drinks for breastfeeding. And when I was doing like IVF, I don't know why, I only wanted me to have more protein. So I used <laughs> to drink these all the time. And I actually think they're really good. Uh, so, gonna have one of those for breakfast. Also, Shelby loves being in the shots. Hi Shelby, good morning. We have a very cranky baby on our hands and he only wants to be held. There are getting to be six months, so I think maybe it is like the six month growth spurt, or it could possibly be that he's teething, but he is, whoa, he's really trying to see the camera. All I can do is wear him in like rock or pace. That's all he wants. And, or weirdly this soother, which he doesn't even usually take, so I feel like he's teething, would be my guess. This is all I'm doing now, I guess, this morning. It is now 11.30. Every time we try to set him down, he screams at us and has like a tantrum like a toddler. So I'm still just doing this, if you're wondering. Fred is playing though. He's having a great time. And it is currently noon. So, so the end of our morning. morning. The twins are down for their second nap of the day. Yeah, and that's basically it. And then we're gonna work, so that's our morning. That's pretty our morning. much the same every day. It is. Except my walk, that was a new addition. Oh, yes. But otherwise, it was exactly the same. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked our video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and I mean, if you watched it this far, you probably liked it, so you <laughs> might as well hit the button. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye, guys.